the time has finally come. Today we're gonna try and complete a master set of Pokemon celebrations. I have my binder right here. I'm only missing a couple of cards. So here's a look at my celebrations page and wait, what the heck? What are these doing here? These are Silver Tempest cards. Oh my gosh, that's embarrassing. Well, if you guys haven't seen my Silver Tempest vlog, check it out. We got some crazy heat. You can watch it after this video. This is my celebrations binder or section right here. We have a lot of cards. It is almost full. I do have a full art. It's in a deck. I just, I wanted to put that there. Blastoise, we got the amazing Shining Mew. And you guys, you guys saw how this went down. This was a crazy, crazy video. The Charizard, we pulled like three of these. We got the Venusaur here too. So there's a lot of good stuff in celebration celebrations, but there are two cards we are missing. We are missing the Garchomp level X, and we are also missing the Tapu Lele GX. Other than that, the binder is 100%. We even have the promos here too. So today's goal is to get those two cards, the two weird chase cards I never expected to call it chase cards, so we can complete our master set of celebrations today. And in order to complete the set, we of course are gonna have to open up a bunch of packs. And so, bam, we have this right here. I'm also opening up this to celebrate because it is celebrations. We're opening it up to celebrate eight years of sneaker talk. For those of you guys who don't know, my main channel at the moment was created eight years ago on October 25th. So we're, we're about a week late. I got busy doing stuff. This is a celebratory opening. So uh, pop some champagne with me or get some snacks or whatever. <laughs> Pikachu VMAX celebrations bundle. And this thing was expensive. I overpaid for these. I paid a 125 Canadian dollars. Now, these go for about like 65 Canadian plus tax. Yeah, I, I overpaid for these. I, I got into the hype, but on the bright side, we have to open this up and there is a bunch of extra goodies inside. So we're gonna have to talk about what we're gonna do with that stuff. First up, we have this right here, a beautiful Pikachu VMAX figure. I have one myself. It's in the back right there. It's actually holding on for dear life to a, uh, a Zacian gold coin. And I have a random uh, Rice, Rice Krispies there I'm gonna save for later. I'm just gonna shout it to the Rice Krispies square. I'm thinking we do a fun giveaway for this, but it's gonna be on a live stream. So if you guys want a chance at winning this figurine for free, uh, then just make sure you guys have notifications on. That way you don't miss the live stream. Pikachu V right here. He looks so funny. It really, really, really looks funny. Kind of reminds me of like a Shin-Chan art style. And then we have the Pikachu V Max who just wants to give you a nice hug, a nice little cuddle called G-Max Volt Tackle for 120 damage. So here are all of the booster packs that are included in the Pikachu V-Max figure collection box. We have a Chillin' Rain, we got a Vivid Voltage, and a Darkness Ablaze. There's a chance we can get some really cool stuff in here. And then we got, I think, let's just count it. Three, six, uh, okay, I shouldn't have counted by threes. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So we got eight packs of celebrations, three packs of Sword and Shield era stuff. We're also gonna open up a uh, single pack of Battle Styles, and then two packs of Hollow Halloween, uh, booster packs of Trick or Trade, which by the way, we did do a Trick or Trade video just on Halloween. On Halloween night, I uploaded it. Not too many of you guys have seen it. So if you missed it, check it out if you want to get to know me better. I also talked about a bunch of Halloween story time stuff. Let's start off with the Vivid Voltage. And uh, we're not gonna be able to pull, of course, the Tapu Lele or the Garchomp Level X out of this, but we are on the hunt for the hyper rare Pikachu VMAX. They should have put more Vivid Voltage in a Pikachu product, come on. Like, why wouldn't you put more than one Vivid Voltage? You're throwing, you're throwing Pokemon Company. Get with the program. All right, Tynamo, Milsery, Galarian Meowth, Slugma, and a... Explode. Chilling Rain up next. I'm hyped because I know today there's a really good chance that we're gonna get my master set done for celebrations. And if we don't, I have two other celebrations product left in my collection and my like sealed vault. And if we don't pull it, I might just buy the cards as singles, which is the smarter thing to do. It's always like, if you wanna get specific Pokemon cards, buying them as singles is always cheaper 100% of the time. A uh, Sneasel and a Serena. But if you want to open up packs for the thrill of it, maybe for content, for some fun, then yeah, that's that's why I like opening up packs. I, I love the thrill of it. I love the chase. I love being able to be the one who pulls the card kind of thing. So the fact that I've gotten pretty much every card in Celebrations except for two 
is pretty pretty insane now that I think about it. And it was also quite expensive. <laughs> so, uh, so yeah. Let me know in the comments down below. This is the common question of the day, by the way. For one pack of Trick or Trade in this video, comment down below if you have a master set of any Pokemon set at the moment, or if there is a set you're close to doing as a master set, or you would like to one day. For me, after celebrations, it's probably gonna be the Pokemon Go set because that's a small set as well. It's a little bit more manageable. I think the Halloween set is pretty easy to, to master set as well. And wow, we got a Pokemon Breeders Nurturing Hyper Rare right there. Not the craziest Hyper Rare. I would be more excited if it was you know, a Pokemon as a Hyper Rare, but uh, this card is still pretty cool. This will be a card I sell. I'll be listing on the weekend on my eBay store. Also, if you guys are looking to buy sealed Pokemon cards, I don't sell sealed Pokemon cards, but the friends over at Matta Trading do. Uh, so if you want to buy some Pokemon cards, check out MattaTrading.com. Use code SneakerTalkTCG to get 5% off. If you're from the US, you can actually take advantage of your stronger US dollar and you don't have to pay tax, which is kind of nice. And uh, if you are in the Toronto area, you can actually use my code in store. Uh, and their store is at Steels and Warden pretty much. They have some cool uh, cool inventory in store they don't have online as well. Um, so yeah, just code Sneaker Talk TCG. They, it supports the channel and it supports the store, of course, if you buy something. But here we go. One pack of battle styles and then we're gonna do the two tricker trades and then, uh, and then get to Conkledur and then get to all of these celebrations booster packs. So trick or trade time. We did end up getting a lot of the cards I wanted from this set, but I really hope that Pokemon does uh, end up doing this again next year for Halloween. And apparently uh, from what I've been told in the comment section in the Halloween video, these were a North American exclusive. So, uh, so yeah, if you're from Europe or from anywhere else that collects English Pokemon cards, they never released these Halloween cards there. So, there's some automatically great value out of these packs. And uh, Gengar is one of the, it's like the chase card I really wanted from the set. So it's a hollow rare Gengar from Chilling Rain. However, it has that golden, or not golden, that hollow foil Pokemon Pikachu pumpkin stamp right there. Kind of like a pre-release stamp. And all the other cards have stamps too. I love that Gengar. Let's do one more. And then we're gonna bust open all these celebrations. And it'll be pretty funny if we pull like other chase cards outside of the Tapu Lele and outside of the Garchomp. So, I mean, I'm not gonna complain. Like clearly I could just sell those cards and then buy the, the level X Garchomp and the Tapu Lele, but it's always more fun pulling it yourself. And the Mimikyu is pretty dope too. So there we go. Those are the two trick or treat packs. Again, if you guys wanna see uh, the trick or trade opening we did on the channel, check it out. It'll be linked down below or as a pop-up card at the end. But now we got eight booster packs of celebrations to get into. The way we're gonna do this is I'm going to do the card trick that will set the uh, the classic collection card as the last card for each pack. So that way the last card could be, you know, the banger that we potentially need. So I think it's just gonna be like this, the last card, or second, the second last card to the back and we should be good to go. All right, so here we go. We got a Yevatel, a Palkia, a Solgaleo and Bruh. a Lugia. Ugh. So even though these packs do get a little painful because you're going to see the same Hollow Rares again and again and again, you do get a Celebrations code. And uh, those codes are worth a lot, man, because in Pokemon Trading Card Game Live, which by the way is going to potentially go into worldwide beta uh, later this month. So when you get duplicates in live, you get uh, credits. They give you just gems that you can use to buy whatever cards you want in the game. So. These, these credits stack up really fast. So if you need to like build a specific deck, it's so much cheaper to play on live than it is to play online uh, PTCGO. All right, here we go. We got a Zekrom, we got a Dialga. Ooh, we got a Zamazenta V and we have... Oh, nice. We got the Mew EX, yo. That looks incredible, I love this. Now, uh, the Mew EX does have a traumatic story for me. If you guys don't remember, I did get scammed by Unlisted Leaf. Yeah, <sighs> I, I did the whole video on it. If you guys want to watch it, but go ahead. Uh, the long story short, I I, I don't want to get into it. I, I, it's too traumatic. We're not going to get into it. Just search up Sneaker Talk TCG Unlisted Leaf scam, and you'll understand. But we should probably sleeve up the Mew EX because the Mew EX is definitely a banger of a pull right there. So I'm just going to put that right there. That was a really good one. That's a double banger. We got a Zamazenta V and a Mew EX. Like that is a, whew, that's a good one. All right, so we are doing the card trick, right? Because we did get the classic collection Mew EX at the very end. So if you just keep doing things this way, we should be good. All right, 
Fat Pikachu and a Lugia Hollow Rare to the side you go. And I have so, so many Celebrations Hollow Rare extras. So if you guys do end up buying um, any, which we call it, any cards for me this weekend when I do my big sale this uh, this weekend, again, sale this weekend, um, I'm going to include, like if you request for specific Hollow Rares from Celebrations, maybe you need to get your master set going, let me know and I will, I'll include them for free in your in your uh, envelope. All right, Yvatel, Cosmog, get out of here. We got a shiny you. What? What's behind this? What's behind this? Okay, a Reshiram. Yo, let's go. Where's the sleep? Where's the sleep? Where's the sleep? Where's the sleep? Oh my gosh. Yo. Yo. That is crazy. Oh my goodness. This is like one of the most expensive cards in the, the main set and just the set in general besides like Charizard and the Umbreon Gold Star. Wow. This is now the, I believe, third or fourth Mew I've pulled. The Shining Mew. Wow, and the fact that we got the Mew EX earlier too. Both of the Mews in the set. Now there is one more Mew, the Hollow Rare Mew. Um, the cheapest version of the Mew <laughs> that you can pull. Uh, so, well, let me maybe, maybe get that too down the road. It's a pretty common one. It is quite playable though. And uh, if you are a competitive player, if you want to request for the Hollow Rare Mew, I'll send it as well, included for free. All right, here we go. We got a Cosmog. Oh, I see something shiny. We got Yevatel. We got Zamazenta V and a Palkia Hollow Rare. All right, so we're getting down to the wire. We only have three booster packs left remaining, and we still have two chase cards to get. This Mew right here, I could I could easily sell it and then get the cards I need, but no, we're trying to pull it for the content, for the memories, and for the fun of it. And let's do it. We have a Dialga, a Cosmoem. Ooh, Professor's Research, full art, love to see it. And a Kyogre. All right, so the research I'm very, very happy about. This box has been crazy, 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 crazy good. All right, here we go. Next pack, second last for the video. And then I'm gonna be playing the new season of Apex Legends with, uh, with Natty tonight. I'm excited about that. The new legend is really cool too, so here we go. We got a Kyogre, a Xerneas, a Pikachu, full art, and a Cosmoem. All right, so last pack magic. We got one more pack left to go. Also, shout out to my sister, Nicole. Uh, in order to grind out these daily videos for you guys, I'm having my sister edit some of the videos. So my sister is the one who's editing this one. So shout out to her. And uh, yeah, here we go. Next pack, last pack magic. Let's see what we can get. Third from the back to the back. And we get one of the two chase cards. The uh, the level X Garchomp or the Tapu Lele. Here we go. Reshiram, hollow rare. Groudon, hollow rare. Zacian V, ultra rare. And, oh. <laughs> Oh, oh, oh. oh no 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 no! <laughs> <laughs>